Hi guys, I'm Elle and welcome to Just Iron Neck. Thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video. As you may have seen from the title of this video, today I'll be talking about and showing you guys everything that I bought from a resale store. And ironically, I'll be reselling most of the things I'll be showing you today, but I just want to show you a little rundown of what I got and how I just think about what I'm buying and why I'm buying it and hopefully it's fun so stay tuned for the rest of the video so the store that i visited is actually a resale store it's like a high-end sort of like boutique that sells like really nice clothing it's almost like plato's closet if you're familiar but this one's called clothes mentor and it's more like for business and professional wear but sometimes they do like discounts um and i got an email saying that they had a 70 percent off discount which is amazing so i decided to check it out and i found a lot of dresses actually that are very professional and so starting off with the five dresses i'm putting on ebay that i bought from that store is this like tank dress um it's like not my size usually when i buy for resale i don't buy my size but what i'm starting to think is that if i'm gonna resell clothing I should at least wear it so it has more use in it, so giving it an extra life. Because if I just resell it, I'm just doing it for the money and that doesn't really fit well with me. So I'm thinking of buying things more my size and making use of it, like taking photos in it or wearing it in videos or, you know, just going out and doing social things. Um, <laughs> like going and getting groceries um, five hours later so that's what I'm thinking right now but basically this dress is a 7th Avenue design studio New York and company dress it's like super long and pretty and then it has this like slit down here I think it would be super comfy with a like denim jacket sometimes you can find amazingly nice and good quality clothing for really cheap if you go to like those discount sales and this dress actually cost me three dollars and it was new it has a tag on it and the resale value of this is probably fifteen dollars if i sell it for twenty you never really know what you're gonna find so i highly recommend just browsing it doesn't hurt right now so the second dress i want to talk about is this dress it's a lesser known brand called Alex Dress and that's the risk sometimes I have to take when I buy things I don't know the brand of. I don't know if it's an expensive brand and I don't have any Wi-Fi on my phone so I can't Google it. I just have to risk it and see if I like the print if I'm gonna resell it. But if it's just for me I just kind of try it on and see if I like the fit. I don't really worry about the brand. I'm not a very much a brand person. But I love this print. It's a Palsley print and I like how it contrasts nicely with like the blue and the green and the white and the yellow I think it's really pretty and something that's really accessible for any like formal business event but yeah I like how it's a decent size like I usually grab like knee length dresses for myself and I love how these dresses accentuate the hips so if you don't have hips I wouldn't recommend this sort of like curvature that's right there if you can see right there make sure that you know kind of your body type too when you're buying dresses and if you're reselling also make sure to detail the measurements the third dress is a studio m dress it's like this orange pepper dress it's long sleeved i love long sleeve dresses and i love how it has this like hanging feature right here it looks bigger than a extra small it looks huge i also bought this one for three dollars i bought most of the stuff for three dollars so nothing was actually the price on the tag that i bought it for and i never buy dresses for over five dollars i try to go from like one or free um to like up to five dollars five dollars is my limit and how much i'll buy a dress for to resell um and personally i don't spend more than like ten dollars on anything that i'll wear myself if, except if i know it's going to be like something i'm going to wear for a long time so if it's a good pair of jeans i try to invest like twenty dollars um if i know the fit's comfy and i know it's practical i'll, I'll probably buy you know jeans for twenty dollars but other than that i don't really see myself buying anything else um not even shoes i try to keep everything really cheap and thrift stores are great for that the fourth dress is this loft dress it's a beautiful t-shirt sort of dress it's really short to the knees 
um, and it's cinched at the waist kind of it accentuates it by a line right here if you can see that and the great thing about this store that I went to is that all the dresses are in really great condition they make sure to evaluate it um, and they pay for the clothing so you can really tell they made sure the clothing was in decent condition and it wasn't stained that's the bad thing about other thrift stores where they just take in everything and they try to sell everything and it's not like a premium quality to it because they're not paying for the things they're receiving but unfortunately this store does and so the prices are kind of jacked up sometimes and that's why the, the sales are so important but when they are on sale, the quality of the clothing is beautiful. Like this feels so new. And it's just like a little casual dress that I love and the material is so like textured and soft too at the same time. So this is like really comfy for like summer or if you put it like a black cardigan, it's cute with like black leggings and booties for the fall that's coming up. So the last dress that I put on eBay is this new Jennifer Lopez brown like formal dress but this one was new it had a $70 tag on it and Jennifer Lopez products are really great because a lot of people know who she is and the quality of the dress is beautiful you can tell it's really sturdy and it's not gonna get really that damaged with the wash you just obviously have to take care of it when you're wa washing it but I loved how it had this unique geometrical like prints at the top and then it had like these really cool like um, cap sleeves sorry if I'm not showing these dresses right and I haven't done this before um, and then it has like this really easy zip feature at the back which I know most women like because it can let them have a more form-fitting fit to their dresses and also again I liked how it accentuates the hips through this feature right here that goes like a little bit inward and has really great structure to it at the hips which can really make you look thinner um, so it's, I thought it was a really great purchase given it was three dollars and I can probably resell it for like around 30 but yeah this is my last purchase for my eBay account if you want to check any of these dresses out make sure to check out my sites I can't promise that they'll still be there but you can check out the links and see if you like anything on my accounts so next I want to talk about the clothing that will go on my Poshmark so the first dress I want to talk about is the Simply Vera Vera Wing like strap dress it's really cute it's a, like a little summer dress has a little cute details in the front over here I really liked it because not only is it like a very well-known name brand but the pink and the purple tie-dye feature right now is really popular and I found this to be a really cute dress at the same time. I wish it could fit me. I'm usually like a medium so unfortunately I can't wear this so I can extend its life a little bit more before it sells. You can always throw a cardigan over it or you can put like long sleeves over it just to make it a little bit more like comfy. I've seen that trend with like more of a 90s vibe where you put like the long sleeves with the dress and then put like skater shoes on. So I think this, this one definitely could be that. And then the second dress for my Poshmark is this really like summery orange um, strap dress too. It's like knee length and it's Everly. I haven't heard the brand Everly before and i think it's a size large it doesn't say on here but on um, the resale tag it said large so i'm trusting it's large um but i think it's good to know the pit to pit measurement so you can kind of tell whether it'll fit you or not um but yeah this one's like really cute it has a zipper in the back and i love like the geometrical print on it and it has an inner lining as well that's what i really like about some dresses they have an inner lining so it's not too thin and it's more comfortable for you if you're not wearing anything underneath it. And I'll probably resell this for like $15. So the third dress I want to show is this Lauren Conrad dress. It's like a you know linear geometric down pattern that's going V. And I think this is really flattering if you want to like place attention right here. And I think it'll look great like in Zoom meetings if you want to like talk to family or stuff like that and it's cinched at the waist like i said so it's going to accentuate that as well and then how the lines move it kind of like deviates away from your tummy and it goes downward to your legs so it's knee length i think overall lauren conrad always does really cute like preppy clothing and this one's a size eight i think this one would fit on me um 
but I'm not really comfortable in strap uh, dresses I think they're kind of too exposing but yeah I think it's super cute and I'll probably go for like $15 um, given that it's a recognizable brand. So for the fourth dress that I want to show you is this H&M dress. It's this like flower print, blue white flower print and it has like ruffle sleeves and it looks like a shirt or a long shirt but it's actually like a t-shirt dress um, and it's a size 6 so it's kind of small for me I guess I could squeeze, squeeze into it I guess um, but I just love how this is like a basic sort of like shirt that can be really cute and simple You can put like leggings on it or you can just wear it and put some like combat boots and make it a little bit more edgier I've seen that a lot of Inst on Instagram and on influencers and it's a really soft Fabric so you probably would have to wear something underneath it and the thing with me about this dress is I was almost not going to get it because I thought people would confuse it for just a shirt but I think people know this can be a dress, you know, if you're a little bit more like advanced in your fashion style, this can be whatever you want it to be. You can always be imaginative and creative in whatever you get. There shouldn't be any limits and you can just do whatever you want with the clothing that you have. And the last dress that I'm going to list for my Poshmark is this um, peach, what is it called? Peach Royals dress. It has kind of like these straps. It has two straps for each shoulder and I love this dress because it had like this bohemian detail on the front of it like that and I think I put it for $20 because I don't think a lot of people would want to put up with this dress for too long am I holding it up right? <laughs> um, but yeah I think it'll give you like a really cool detailed look if you're going somewhere and you can never go wrong with a full length dress that is like unique um, so yeah, now I'm getting into my Depop finds. Uh, this is a Charming Charlie dress. If you haven't heard of this store, they're in a lot of like American malls. And this is just a beautiful dress. I haven't researched how much these are because I haven't gotten into them yet, but it has the greatest sheen to it. And it probably sell for 20 or 30 dollars. And what I love about this dress is that it's very juvenile and very fresh. I usually try to put my most juvenile and sort of like fun pieces on Depop. And those are usually like printed fabrics and printed like clothing and stuff like that. I'll probably resell it for like I said 20 or 30 dollars and obviously I always accept offers. And the second dress that I found is this really simple old navy purple like tank dress. It is new. It has an original tag here that says $26.94. So that's just kind of crazy to think about how originally it was priced for about $27. And then they resold it for $8 but with the 70% mark off it like sold for like $2.50 for me. And now I'm going to try to resell it. Unfortunately, I can't wear it since it's a small. I'm not a small. I probably could fit in it. It's like an elastic material and it's super soft as well. And it's cinched at the waist, so I think it's very forgiving. So I'll probably try to fit this on. Um, but it probably will be a little bit too tight. And then to finish off this video, I have three more dresses. So I have another Old Navy dress. It's this gray basic like tank top dress. It's very sturdy and durable. So I really like that and I also got this one for three dollars and it's an extra small and it's really cute and it's like flared at the hips like I said I, I think I'm a big fan of that but I think this one's a basic that's really cute and I think a lot of people would enjoy it and it's very versatile so I don't think you can go wrong with these sort of pieces and then the second to last piece that I want to talk about is this three pink hearts dress from Kohl's it has a tag for $48 and I bought this for like $3.75 at the resale store. It's this little cute halter top. It's really short and small. It's supposedly a medium. I don't think I can fit into this and I'm a medium and it's super short. So this probably would be like a girl's medium. I think it's a girl's medium. I'm pretty sure. Um, or they just sized it wrong. I'm not quite sure what's going on here so I'll look that up. But I do really like this. A lot of people are wearing this like stretch material across their top. 
and then the bottom is a different material it's more like uh, polyester and I really like the flower print and like I said I usually put like flower prints on Depop so I think this will be a great addition to that and I'll probably resell it for like $15 especially because the sizing is a little bit weird and more lenient on the prices just because I know it's a risky purchase for the person on the other side of the screen and now finally I want to talk about this last dress it's a Lands End dress these are so good if like you want to be more professional in whatever setting you're in it's so sturdy the material is really comfortable and soft i would love wearing this it's almost like a blanket um and it's not that heavy but it's sturdy um so it's a good balance and then like i said it has a cinch detail at the waist so it gives you a little more tapered effect and then it's like knee length and i think it's both colorful and patterned in an appropriate way for whatever setting it's fun but not too conservative and i think you can really show your personality in these types of dresses and unfortunately this dress is a size zero petite and i'm like a medium and tall so i cannot wear this but i highly recommend these sort of dresses for anyone and this brand usually does retail for a little bit higher than most brands um, the dresses are like 50 or 60 dollars if you look online, so I'll probably be reselling this for like 30 But yeah, hopefully you guys liked my dresses It was good to detail how transparent I am and how I buy clothing and why I buy them and where I buy them Just so you guys have a little bit more of an inside scoop of how I function as a consumer And I want to do it in the most conscious way and I want to be honest I think those are the values that I really try to emulate in this channel and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you wanted more tips or if you're a little bit confused about some things that i said and you want me to go more in detail please feel free to let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas for any videos in the future please comment those down below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i really really enjoy your support and it keeps me going especially as a small youtuber so yeah thank you so much i appreciate your time and be in peace bye guys